Okay, my friends, quick and easy, we're going to be talking about Asteroid Venue holds Solar System's original ingredients. And the lead investigator for this is um, this fellow right here, Dante Loretta. And I am sending him an email right now, and I will show you what I'm sending, because I believe we have discovered, or at least I feel very confident, that Venue is a heart. Okay, I very rarely get responses, so I'm going to just say, here's what I sent. I sent this to um, the University of Arizona lead investigator, and I said, Hello, sir, I see you're the principal investigator for Benu, if I am correct. I believe I have info on Benu. I have attached some pictures and appear to show Benu and Psyche both are hearts. I know that sounds insane, but look at the biology and I can tell you almost exactly the chemical compositions because it is primarily blood metals. I know what they have in their hand as far as the chemistry goes because it's, it's just right out of a heart. It's almost solid blood. Some bits will be isotopically different as they are ionized in space but will be quite obvious in the chemistry. No question you'll be able to tell what it is. Now, Here's what their phosphate surprise is. They, were, they claimed they had a phosphate surprise. They couldn't figure out why they had these two layers of phosphates. If they are phosphates by layers, two layers, which are membranes, they break down to release phosphate groups. They're phospholipid membranes. It's well understood. We are all well educated on the things that I am presenting. Now here's the people that I am also corresponding with. Now, they don't agree with me necessarily. I'm not saying they do. But these are the people that we can talk to about it. Gil Headley, who I did talk to about it, and he's, he didn't put up any fight. He's a renowned anatomist and educator. He's a PhD, teaches anatomy worldwide. That's what he does. Andy Marino is a triple PhD. Dr. Marino successfully supported scientific applications in genetic engineering testing major organizations, North America, Mexico, China, including Thermo Fisher Scientific, Teleflex, AB Clonal Technology, ASG, AME, blah, 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 Xerox, Thermo Finnegan, Microtech. He's, he's a big shot. And Andy's a very good friend of mine. And Robert Schleip, who I haven't corresponded with for many years now, but he originally tipped me off, I believe it was him, oh, 10, 12 years ago, about the tattoo fluids going into the fascia. And that's what he specializes in, his fascia. Uh, and Pedro, my good friend Pedro Sanchez, he, he was a vendor working with the European Space Agency, NASA, the whole shooting match. He retired and he now gives me a lot of information because he is always bombarded with their information. Very, very good source. And, um, and I just do general research. I'm, I do all things, but I do it pretty deeply. And I have gone to a lot of different schools. I went to University of Geneva for uh, particle physics and Johns Hopkins for genetics and uh, genomics and a whole bunch of them. And because uh, because I could go th for free through Coursera, and when I first got out of the army, I went to school. I went to a bunch of different schools, state schools in Connecticut, because I didn't have to pay for it. The GI Bill did that. So, but I never really was interested in getting a degree of any sort because that puts you in a box you just can't get out of. I went into my own business. I was very successful. So, and now I'm retired, and I I want these things opened up the research to be reality. So I do the fossilization and so forth, but I'm making a video, as I t tell them here, and I hope to hear from, hear your opinion on my evidence, which is really your evidence, which is the sample from Benu. Now, these are the people that are, I'm contacting about this. I expect to, to hear something. Now, here's Benu. Okay, whoops. Where is it? Let me, let me show you the pictures I sent to them. All right, here's Benu where they landed. That's the heart. It's identical to a heart when you take off the plumbing, and it falls right off. Gil told me, yeah, he sees it all the time in autopsies, this part just comes away very simply, and you have the base part of the heart where this is where all the muscle contraction happens. The, it twists. And this is Psyche, which is another asteroid, which is identical to this one. They're both hearts, and that is a heart, and all of the plumbing is missing off the top. So I sent them this picture, which pretty much shows the anatomy is quite obviously the same.
Here, I did send this picture, but this is their picture about the phosphate surprise. The phosphate layer here and down here with the little white spots. And this is the sarcomeres, which is the muscle that pulls in and out. And in a, they're exactly identical to what's in a heart here on Earth. All right, these are what's called heart sarcomeres, and they pull in like this. And this is a torn heart sarcomere, this is a heart attack victim. And this is the layers in between, which is the phosphate layers, and these are the sarcomeres. Just exactly what I showed you a minute ago, and that evidence is in their hands at Arizona State University. Now, I would like to see them tell me what is the chemical analysis of that because it's going to be virtually blood and muscle tissue that's it's all it is and of course the phosphates are the membranes but it's biological they know this already I know they know this we have to confront reality and start from there okay good. so I'm going to go ahead and send that email off now this is a, a tube coming out of the heart that's a tube coming out these different colors are the different colors of the oxidation states of raw red blood. It, it turns black, it, the vein blood, the red blood is heavily oxygenated, and the yellow is in the mix in between. So let's see if we hear back from um, Arizona State University, because they've been put in charge of, of looking into this. Now, the evidence I'm sending in should be examined. So let's see if it does. I, so far, I have found very little appetite for looking at anything other than what they present and that's not science this is science so let's see if we get any response i would certainly hope so we'll find out